What's up everybody? Tech Talking Ginger here and we're covering tech news today and we're gonna cover some Apple AR VR glasses and we're gonna cover some Steam Deck and how some games have confirmed working on there and how uh, when it's releasing and some more info on that and um, we're gonna cover some Intel uh, news on some banging new processors which I'm sure most of you guys have already heard about um, so yeah it's gonna be a pretty sweet episode of tech news so let's roll that intro All right, you guys, so Apple is planning to uh, release its AR VR glasses, um, headset, whatever you want to call it, for 2022. That is uh, the plan. Um, I don't know if that's going to work out, but uh, we'll work through all that together real quick. So, a new leak from a reliable Apple insider is uh, stating major power, like right there with the M1. Um, so that is exciting news, very exciting news. That means this is going to be a super powerful um, headset. I mean, they're going to be competing with Sony, and they're going to be competing with um, Facebook or Meta, um, whatever you want to call them these days. But, um, you know, the, the HTC, they're, they're competing with big names. You know, you got Sony's VR headset. I mean, it's going to be an entertainment thing for Apple. This this is going to be pop these glasses on and you're you're in a um your your real world but you can do augmented reality or you could go full VR um or they're going to you know it it's going to be with Apple, you know it's going to be premium, it's going to be pricey, it's going to work. They're going to want top of the line specs, top of the line internals, um you know it, it's going to be it's gonna be fantastic, but they they got a lot of competition, and and they're kind of getting in late, you know. Um, Oculus has already got it knocked down, um, pretty good price for what you get. That insider is Ming Chi, so you're gonna be looking at eye tracking. You're gonna be looking at two 4K Retina displays. You're gonna be looking at 15 external cameras. You're going to be looking at 300 to 400 grams, so this will be light and easy to wear for a long period of time. These are the the uh, leaker specs that we have heard so far on these Apple AR VR glasses headset. The headset will use a 96 watt Type C charging, and it will. Uh, last a pretty good period of time from what the claims say. Um, you are also going to be looking, like I said, M1 power chip, pretty close, similar, is what these reports are saying. Um, the price point has been all over the place. Um, you're seeing 1100 or more, you're seeing 2000 or more, you're seeing 3000 or more. Um, pretty much no matter where you put it, if it's... It, <laughs> If, if it hits 3000 that's the most expensive headset, pretty much. Um, that's crazy. I don't see Apple doing that. They're premium priced on their products, and the specs are out of this world good. But I don't think $3,000 is reasonable. Um, I think they want to put this in more people's hands than that. So I don't think $3,000 is, is going to happen. But, I mean, you see folding phones for two grand. I can see two grand possibly being a price point for this. If they could get under two grand pretty decently, around like fifteen hundred, I think that that would be great. I think you'd actually see a lot of people buy these. So we'll have to just wait and see. I think we'll know more come June. But that's it on the Apple news. All right, I lied to you guys. There's a little bit more Apple news. So we're looking at an iPhone SE coming out soon, and we're looking at some other products. But let's talk about that Apple iPhone SE, the new, new one. Um, they really need a new name. <laughs> so we're looking at a new iPhone SE, and it's looking like it's going to be pretty close to the same hardware specs as the last one, but with 5G and um, a few little tweaks here and there. 
but that's pretty much it. Um, we're also looking at a new Apple Watch, um, Apple Watch Series 8, and it's going to be more of that flat square design like you see on the new iPhones. Um, so you'll you'll uh, you'll be seeing a new Apple Watch Series 8 with that new design choice, um, with possibly a body temperature feature too, and a few other little things but mostly a, a good design overall with those flat edges and um, bigger display um, less bezel kind of like you see on the series 7 where there's a little less bezel still a thicker glass and screen too so um, then you'll also be looking at a new macbook air coming out with that m2 chip so these are all also new things coming from apple here real soon and i think you'll be hearing about that also probably come june all right so let's talk some intel news so it looks like there was some new benchmarks um, released for the new intel chips so these alder lake based laptops um, the full nerd podcast got their hands on some of these alder lakes and these new laptops and got to test them out a little early so here we're going to show you on the screen these benchmark charts so the systems that were tested by them they were outfitted with a 14 core i9 alder lake 32 gigs of ddr5 geforce rtx 3080 these tests were compared to a GE76 with Tiger Lake Core i9, RTX 3080, 165, ASUS ROG Strix, SCAR G17, Ryzen 9 5900HX, and RTX 3080 GPU 130 watts. Like I said, these charts are on the screen, so you can see. The machine features the same exterior as the old model, but was upgraded internally to the Alder Lake CPU, faster GPU, next gen memory, and liquid metal. You guys can look at the charts and make your own conclusions on what you think of these Alder Lakes. But let's move on to the uh, most exciting news, in my opinion. This is what really excites me. I have been so pumped to try out this Steam Deck. Um, it sucks it was delayed, guys, but um, with Valve... In my opinion, it's best to just let them do what they're doing. They are professionals who really care about gamers, I think. And I think they just want to give us the best experience. Um, you know, with COVID and everything, we're all dealing with major delays, supply shortage. Um, uh, you've you're got semiconductor shortage. you got all these issues and, and just uh, stuff stuck at the ports. Um, nobody is getting anything done in a reasonable period of time. Um, the fact that the price point is so low and they're going to get it out as quick as they can and they are keeping us pretty informed, you know, in my opinion, as good as you can. Um, they're getting all these test units out. They're verifying all these games. They're making sure to do all this work with the, the Linux community and, and get everything going on great for us. Um, so we need to cut them some slack. But the good news is is, is we, we're still getting in news, we're still getting in info, and we should see these in February. At least a uh, tracking number. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Valve Steam Deck is on track for late February launch. So what we're looking at is late February, we should have some tracking numbers, if not a couple in hand, I would hope. Um, you know, they're still getting out test kits and dev kits. Um, games are still updating and, and confirming that they work and are being optimized for the Steam Deck. Um, you can pretty much see that daily. So we're, we're on track. We're on track to see this in, uh, we're on track to see this in February for sure. I am pretty confident in that. So some people in Reddit, um, there's some, the Steam DB database, um, and then there's some workarounds. But right now, if you want to, um, I will put a list, uh, a link in the description to, to um, some of these uh, ways of seeing 
the verified um, deck verified um, info and to see how they're playable and what um, the info is for them to be playable um, you know you're looking at like uh, 67 I believe out of like 60,000 or something like that um, games verified which I know may make you nervous but um, uh, they're working on it and uh, most of these games are going to play. I'm pretty confident in that. Um, just because they don't all say deck verified and stuff doesn't mean that most of them don't won't play. Um, but yes, I will put a link down there um, so you guys can uh, uh, get the workaround um, or uh, just go to the Steam DB and uh, see what's verified and get more info on those games. But um, I wouldn't worry. Um, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna be great. I think the Steam Deck's gonna get here, and the hype's gonna be crazy. But that is it on the Steam Deck news. Um, that is it on tech news, you guys. Uh, this was um, a pretty uh, decent length episode, I would say. But uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, you got a lot of information out of this. Hopefully, you're pumped for these Apple glasses coming out and they're not three grand hopefully that would be very depressing uh, hopefully you enjoyed hearing about that new Intel Alder Lake I think that uh, great things are gonna happen with that I, it seems like a really really good Intel processor for sure and I also hope you enjoyed hearing about Steam Deck guys um, I cannot even begin to tell you how pumped I am as we get closer and closer. I will be more excited when they just take the rest of their money and get that sucker sent to me so we can run some benchmarks and we can tear it down and we can check it all out in depth and see how it plays these games. I'm not gonna lie, I want to see if it can play Elden Ring. I want to throw Elden Ring on that sucker and just play all day and all night. I am excited. I, I just uh, I just wish it was here so I could just get it all pumped up and ready, man. I, I just want to get it in my hands. I want to feel how that Steam Deck it just holds in my hands. I think it's going to be big, um, but comfy. And I'm hoping the weight won't um, just exhaust you uh, too quick, you know. But um, that's it for game news, you guys. I'm rambling on about the Steam Deck. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you like and subscribe. It'd be really awesome. Um, but uh, that's it. You guys have a great night. And till next time, see you later.